What's going on everybody? Welcome to another quarterfinal preview. We are going through the Nadal versus Query quarterfinal. This one's going to be an absolute epic in my opinion. It's very close. It's a grass court player versus a, you know, we know Raf is a clay court player, but Query's had some big wins over big opponents at this tournament before. He's beaten Murray here before, he's made a semi-final here before, and he's also beaten Djokovic here before. So Sam Quarry, and he's also beat Dominic Team so far this week. So uh, he's beaten some really good opponents in the top 10 at this tournament. He loves playing Wimbledon. He's got the game to play Wimbledon. And now he gets to play against Rafa. Let's see what the road to the quarterfinals been for Rafa Nadal. So his best performance here was in 2010 where he beat Thomas Burdich. So a lot of people think that Rafa is a really good grass court player. But when you look at the stats there, he actually hasn't won this tournament for almost 10 years. So he hasn't won. He's gotten to the semifinals obviously last year. But since then, besides that result, he hadn't really done much over the last 10 years. So something to keep in mind when we uh, when we break down this match. Also, uh, we'll go through the first round. He got uh, went through Sagita pretty easily, 3-1-3. and three. And then the Nick Kyrgios match, the infamous Kyrgios match. I think it was the, one of the most popular matches of the tournament so far. It was a must, it was must, watch, must, must watch tennis uh, between those guys. Kyrgios getting the second set and then going to two tiebreakers where Nadal prevailed. A lot of fire in that match. A lot of uh, there's a lot of tense uh, tension in that match as well. Very uh, very entertaining and a little bit scary at the same time. Uh, then he played Songa, demolished Songa. I mean Songa didn't even come to play that day. And then he beat Souza, who I was shocked to be there. I thought that Souza was more of a uh, grass court player, uh, sorry clay court player, and uh, you know performed on the grass as most of the clay court players are doing this year. So uh, Rafa put him away in straight sets as well. Let's look at Query's run to this quarterfinal. So first round, beat Dominic Team, big upset. I mean, it was part of the big upsets between you know Team Zverev and Tsitsipas, and Query was one of them, uh, one of the people to cause the upset. Best result here, semi-final 2017, defeated, uh, lost to Chilich in that one, so defeated by Chilich in that one. Uh, as you can see, uh, he defeated Rublev in the second round, good young Russian player, pretty easily. Beat John Millman in the third round, couple of tie breaks, and then easily in the third set. And then he beat Sangreen, uh, you know, a fellow American in that one. A lot of tie breakers in that one. And now he gets to play Rafa. Let's look at their head to head because it's a little bit interesting. The last time they played, as you can see, it's 4 1, but the last time they played, Query won that one in Acapulco. So, last, you know, if we're going by recent activity between these guys, Query's got the upper hand. He's got the advantage. And also, it's played on a surface. This is on grass. So it's on a surface that Query is really, really happy to play on. Uh, they played at the Madrid Masters. Before that, Nadal obviously winning that. And then they played in 2008. Before that. So they hadn't played for such a long time. And I'm pretty sure that was on a um, on a clay court as well in the Davis Cup. Nadal winning that one, as you'd expect. But Query getting a set off Nadal on clay is a good effort for him. Uh, let's look at their keys to the match. So as you can see, the last time they played... Query was serving at 81% of uh, serve po first serve points. So he was winning 81% of the points when the first serve went in against Nadal. He's going to have to replicate that, if not do better, because uh, the serve is key for Query in this match. And the last time they played, Nadal only got, uh, he got six break point opportunities, but he couldn't convert. So another big key, Query's going to have to either limit the opportunities for Nadal, or he's going to have to hit big serves down break point, as he's been doing pretty much this whole tournament. Uh, last time they, well, sorry, the last round, Query hit 74 winners in four sets. That is huge. 74 winners in four sets is massive. Uh, there was a couple of tie breaks. There were tight sets, but still, 74 uh, winners in a match is ridiculous. Last round, uh, when Nadal played Souza, Nadal converted six of eight break points. So he didn't have that many opportunities, but he converted pretty much every one, and that's why the score line was so dominant for Rafa. All right, let's talk about what's going to happen in this one. So I reckon out of the out of the four, this one's going to have the biggest chance of being an upset. I think. I think that um, you know we've got Djokovic and Nadal and Federer obviously playing too, but I think those guys. Have uh, have pretty easy opponents in in comparison to Nadal. I think Nadal's picked. Um, you know, on, if this wasn't on a grass court, I probably wouldn't have wouldn't be saying this. But you know, Query has a big chance of winning here, and I think that if there's going to be if there's going to be an upset, I don't think we get Nadal, Federer, Djokovic all through into the semifinals. I think that one of them is going to get upset. One of them has to lose. I just you know, Wimbledon it's always throws up those things. We've already had so many people lose in the first week, uh, both on the men and women's top seeds losing, uh, not making it to the later rounds. So 
I'm going to go for something a little bit different now. I think a lot of people might not be happy with this one, but I'm going to pick Sam Query to win this one. So I think he's going to cause an upset. Like I said, beaten Djokovic here before. He's beaten Murray here before. He's made the semifinals, and he's already beaten Dominic Team, the Roland Garros finalist, only a couple of months ago. So why can't he beat the winner of Roland Garros? I mean, it's a big chance. Rafa has been playing really well, so I don't think it's going to be easy. But I think if Sam wins this match, it will be in five sets. A lot of tie breaks, a lot of winners. This is going to be the match to watch. If anyone wants, if you you know you guys want to do uh, watch any matches, I'm picking this one to watch because uh, this match is going to have fireworks, big serve, great returns from Nadal, lots of running from Nadal. Lots. Um, Query's good at the baseline too. He can hit some uh, hit some shots. So it's going to be a huge match. I think it's going five. It's probably got the most potential out of all of them to go five as well. So uh, definitely keep up to date with this one. Uh, we'll probably be watching this on live shows as well. So if you haven't come along to the live shows yet, make sure you come along for this match. It's going to be really good. Uh, make sure you subscribe as well if you haven't already. And make sure you like this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.